Meanwhile, the free trade agreement between Aotearoa and the UK has been fast-tracked. By the end of this month, almost all New Zealand exports to the UK will be exempt from tariffs. Speaking from London, Prime Minister Chris Hipkins says the FTA presents a huge opportunity for Māori business and Indigenous trade partnerships. The growing strength of the Māori economy within New Zealand and the potential for uh, a much more trade uh, is, is really significant. So uh, I recently led a delegation to Australia uh, where we were talking about growing our, our, our business relationship between the two countries, growing the size of the economic exchange between the two countries. And there was a really significant Māori contingent within that delegation, recognising that there's enormous opportunity there for the Māori economy. But also there's, you know, if I think about the New Zealand-Australia trading relationship, the, the, the Indigenous-to-Indigenous indigenous, uh, trade relationship uh, is one that's really important as well. And I think that, you know, whilst that, that's certainly true in the New Zealand-Australian context, it's also in, true in the New Zealand to many other trading partners' context as well. So um, I would certainly see in our, in our trade growth strategy uh, Māori playing a very significant role in that. The, UK um, New Zealand free trade agreement coming into force at the end of the month is an incredibly significant milestone for New Zealand. Um, it has the potential to grow our GDP by a billion dollars a year. Um, not, you know, I think it's 99.5 per cent of the trade that we ca our current exports to the United Kingdom will be coming into the UK either tariff free or as part of a quota. So that's a very significant um, change for our exporters.